Hi, kindergarten. Today you're going to learn about George Washington Carver. He's a really important man. I think you're going to be excited. So our first word is botanist. A botanist is a scientist who studies plants. So you see how this woman is growing all of these plants and really studying them? If you study plants, you're a botanist. Botany is the study of plants. So you might figure out what all of these different parts of the plants are and learn more about them. Crops are the plants that are grown in large numbers for people to use. So, for example, all of these crops are grown in lines, and then this man in the tractor is actually picking all of these things. So, like a farmer might plant three different crops, corn, soybeans, and wheat. But you're going to use all of the things you plant, and you plant a lot, 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 lot of them. I know, it's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Do you remember this person? Yeah, Johnny Appleseed. We learned about him. Now, do you remember anything about Johnny Appleseed? Hmm. Why did he become famous? Yeah, Johnny Appleseed became famous because he traveled throughout the United States planting apple seeds wherever he could so that apples could grow everywhere. Today, we're going to learn about another person who became famous for his love of plants. Listen carefully to find out what this person did because he loved plants and how he became famous. Today, you're going to hear about another man who, like Johnny Appleseed, became famous because he loved plants. He, too, lived many years ago, though not quite as long ago as Johnny Appleseed. His name was George Washington Carver. He became famous throughout the United States as a botanist, which is a scientist who studies plants. George first developed his interest in plants as a young boy. As a child, George used his free time to explore the forest surrounding his home on a farm in Missouri. He spent many hours roaming the woods, discovering all sorts of wonderful things. George liked to collect things that caught his eye. George was especially curious about the different kinds of plants he noticed during his explorations. He wanted to study these plants further, but he knew that if he pulled them out of the ground and took them back to the cabin, they would die. Why would they die? What do they need to survive? They definitely need that soil. So when George found an interesting plant, he would carefully dig up and remove it from the place it was growing, roots and all, so he could plant it in a special garden close to the cabin. A garden is a plot of land where plants are grown. George moved plant after plant to this special garden where he looked after each and every plant, watering and caring for them all to make sure they continued to grow. As an adult, George later wrote, I literally lived in the woods. I wanted to know every strange stone, flower, insect, bird, or beast. Day after day, I spent time in the woods alone in order to collect my floral beauties and put them in my little garden I had hidden in the bush, brush not far from my house. So look, he has this little garden that he made for himself. Fascinated by the plants in his garden, George spent hours tending, observing, and studying them. In time, he came to learn about the special needs of each plant, how much water each needed, whether it grew best in full sunlight or with some shade. George also took a special interest in caring for plants that were not growing well. He became so skillful at caring for these sick plants that people throughout the neighborhood began to call him the plant doctor. Look him taking care of that plant. Wow. And he could help them even when they were sick. George's passion for plants led him to develop another talent, that of an artist. Of course, his favorite subjects to paint were his beloved plants. Though he did not have a proper canvas or paints, he improvised with what he could find. So you know how you all got a canvas and some paints to use? He didn't have that, so he used whatever he could make. George made his first paints from different plant parts. He mashed bark, roots, and wild berries and used them to paint on old boards 
or even flat rocks. George continued to paint throughout his entire life. Wow. George was truly a remarkable and talented person. He was an excellent student who learned really quickly. He went on to study at college, eventually becoming an expert in botany, so studying plants. After he finished college, George became a professor at a famous university in Alabama. Mm. Alabama is a state in the South. There he spent the rest of his life continuing to study plants and experiment with ways to make them grow better. He discovered many ways to help farmers improve how they grew plants and crops on their farms. George encouraged farmers to grow crops other than cotton, especially peanuts and sweet potatoes. He also found many ways to use peanuts in all different types of products, like dyes and oils and makeup. He even came up with a number of recipes for foods that used peanuts. George Washington Carver is especially remembered today for those discoveries. Wow, that is so cool. I hope you liked learning about George Washington Carver. Go ahead and click on the exit ticket below.